So preserving summer's bounty for winter meals is one of my most favorite activities and today I would like to share with you the easiest way to preserve broccoli. When I get an overabundance of broccoli I like to preserve it for the winter and the easiest way to do this is just to pop it in the freezer but it's important to blanch it first so the ripening will stop. So here's how you do this. You take your broccoli, you cut it up into bite-sized pieces just like you would want to serve it and then drop that into boiling water until it turns bright green and then the water just starts to boil again just a little bit. So you're not really cooking it, you're just uh, kind of heating the surface of that broccoli. Then you're going to scoop it up out of the water and put it in a bowl of cold water so you stop the cooking action. Um, I like to put mine in the sink and then after the broccoli is cooled off then I can just reach in and pull the drain up and then drain all the water out. So you want all the water out. And then next you go ahead and you take that and you put that in some freezer bags and you want to label it and then you're going to place that in the freezer. And when I put it in the freezer I just do one layer thick and make sure that the bags are kind of flat and once they're frozen then they stack really nicely in the freezer. And the frozen broccoli it can be used for stir fry, it can be eaten alone you know, with some butter on it, it can be pureed for broccoli soup. So I love, love, love having broccoli year-round. And this is a great way to take some of your summer harvest and save it for winter and enjoy your broccoli year-round. So if you'd like to learn other ways to preserve broccoli and more about preserving your harvest for the winter, then go ahead and get our Preserving Fruits and Vegetables ebook. So in that, we've listed all the best ways to preserve over 25 different vegetables. And in this guide, you're going to learn which vegetable does best with which preservation method. So, you know, should you can it, dehydrate it, freeze it, or root cellar? Which vegetable do you do which way? So if you do it wrong, the vegetable may not hold through the winter or it may taste really bad. So you can get the Preserving Fruits and Vegetables Guide ebook for free when you sponsor this show. We give it away along with the Gardener's Guide to Perfect Soil and the Homemade and Organic Pest Control ebook. And this is for anyone who will sponsor the show at the $8.50 level. And then the money that we raise from the sponsorship goes to keep this show free to everyone around the world. And right now we are on six continents. So I feel that everyone should have access to learn how to grow food for themselves and their family. And by sponsoring the show, you are a part of keeping this education free and feeding people around the world. Also, if you'd like to learn more about high performance gardening and how to successfully preserve your harvest, you can get more information on our website, thelivingfarm.org. So on there you'll find articles, videos, and e-courses that can help you on your way to success. If you want to learn how to grow $2,500 worth of organic produce with only a 15 minute a day commitment, sign up for the High Performance Garden Show. There are hundreds of episodes chock full of my best gardening secrets that I have learned over the last three decades. Go to thelivingfarm.org slash high-performance-garden-show. It's free and online. Also, if you want to join the premier online community of people who grow food, medicine, and build resilient communities, join us today at thegrownetwork.com. Thanks so much for watching. May your garden be easy, fun, productive, and always organic.